We are in the sanctuary of Los Angeles First Church of the Nazarene. And this church was actually begun in 1895 by a fellow named Phineas F. Brzee. And it was his sense of calling and those who joined him to minister in Los Angeles downtown area to the people who were poor. That church began a denomination, and as that denomination grew, that sense, that calling to ministering to the poor, to working with those who were disenfranchised, somehow seemed to lose focus. As the demographics changed and as the, uh, the area became less desirable, they moved to the suburbs, and they moved again. And during the late 1960s and early 70s, that sense of uh, urban sprawl, the effects of urban sprawl and immigration once again began taking its toll in this area and the, those people who were coming into church here from distances found it more difficult to continue doing that and they began worshiping in the suburbs. 1981 we called a, a, a young minister to be senior pastor of this location, this church, and he began talking to us and instilling into us the sense of seeing life and living lives from a kingdom perspective. And part of that perspective meant that we didn't shut ourselves off from this community. We didn't isolate ourselves or protect ourselves from a community. We, instead, we were to embrace it. And we began at that time what we called Brazil Institute, uh, a training center for urban ministries. And their assignment was to take a basketball and go into the community and develop relationships. Out of that began the Brazil Youth Department ministering to youth and education and recreation, a sense of gang intervention for those who might be at risk in the community. come together to create something colorful and beautiful in our community. We're hoping to start construction in on the park, physical construction, sometime after the first of the year, maybe in January, um, late January, somewhere in that time, early to late January. I think some people thought it would never happen, but it's finally starting to happen. We will have a park. I told people we'd have a park, and we will have a park. Look where that manhole cover is. This will be a little playground for kids. I can stand here today and tell you that this park is literally a miracle. In fact, there were people who never dreamed that we could turn a busy public street into the beautiful urban park that you're standing in today. There are some of you that would say, there's no way I can afford to go to college. I want to tell you, first of all, choose the college you want to go to, and somehow, some way, the people in this room and the people at Brazil will figure out a way for you to go to college. We are excited that finally we have been able to partner up with Queens Care Family Clinics, and the new clinic is going to be open, and we're going to be able to serve the needs of our low-income, uninsured neighbors. <laughs> 